What's up, y'all? Frenchy here. Listen, so back in 2013, Diddy launched a nationwide search looking for a TV host for the launch of Revolt TV Networks. But this is Pete Diddy we're talking about here. Puff Daddy, Mr. Take That, Take That. So I knew I had to put something together next level to catch his attention. A regular audition? Eh, that's cool. But the goal was to get noticed. I wanted this bad. So I came up with the hashtag French for Revolt campaign and I hit these streets. Me and my friends went all over New York City and campaign and campaign. We told everybody who would listen about the contest. We made a poster board and made people take pictures with it, tweet about it, dance about it. We even got the Times Square bump involved, okay? A few days went by, no calls from Diddy's office, okay. So I went back to the streets and produced three whole music segments, talking to people in the city about the state of music at the time and getting their input on it. Just so I can show his producers and casting directors just a little taste of what I could bring to the network. And then I got a tweet from the man himself. Personality, energy, and creativity, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Where we going? We've got entertainment journalist Frenchie. Back to my man over here. Right here Start man. it off, man. I've seen you were ready to jump Eli in. Elijah Blake, 14 <laughs> tracks of pure musical <laughs> excellence. I'm a big fan. Lesson learned, you gotta be proactive and find different and unique ways to stand out and separate yourself from the rest of the pack. Yo, it took a whole year and a half for this to happen, but I was so ready and so excited because of all the work that I had put in leading up to this moment. 